We sort of consider the collision monitors all volunteers too, though, because they're all contributing to, to um, the collections here. And while we're doing that, yeah. you know, collecting the injured birds, we're also collecting the dead birds for the field museum. There's some things that, you know, that Mary and I wouldn't turn over to volunteers too, and those are things that you don't necessarily get done if you're supervising volunteers. This group, that's our Wednesday group, is phenomenal because I can lay this stuff out on the table and go do something else. Some of the stuff is on the job training. For pulling feathers off birds, um, go at it. There are things like what Joan's doing now is, is boxing the bones, the finished product now after it's been through the bugs and Mary's worked on it at the sink and Joan is doing the final boxing and you know when she first started doing that she needed to look up every name and when she couldn't read my handwriting, ask about it, uh, which is not rare. That and and um, you know now we haven't heard a peep out of her because she no, knows everything know. that there is to know about it. For something like making study skins, if a person comes in cold, then then um, I mean it's it's a real craft. I make study skins. Basically, you skin the bird out and you take out all the soft tissue and then like the feathers and the skin and the bones will just dry. And we stuff them with cotton and put in the cotton eyes. And then we add them to the collection. Skins allow you to do some traditional measurements and to study the plumage. And that gives you something that looks like the bird, um, you know, in life, as opposed to these boxes of skeletons that most of these common birds are, are, are being made into. We have two volunteers who will be numbering bones. This is the bone that the bird combs his hair with, his, his feathers. Well, we, we put the um, specimen numbers on each bone because people from all over the world come and study these things. If they say, I want trumpeter swans, they got all kinds of them down there. There are a lot of things about just general and very fine-tuned things that we can find out about migration through that, just the difference between male and female migration, which you can't tell on most species through your binoculars. Without the specimens, without looking internally, we wouldn't be able to, to do that. Get tissue samples from these, so if people are wanting to look at things genetically over time or across geography, they can use samples from these as part of that. Ultimately, we'll be able to even probably tell what population these birds that are migrating through Chicago, whether these are birds that are nesting in eastern Canada or western Canada, just by DNA. All of this stuff gives us a, just a much more complete understanding of the biology of the birds. And as much as is known, it's still surprising how, how much is